90% of the people who see these pictures, their comments either start off with or include one word. The word is wow. That's known as Star Trek's Mr. Spock. 74-year-old Leonard Nimoy has boldly gone where few photographers have gone before. He stirred up controversy with his last project, Shakina, which explored the spiritual side of the female form. But while that series featured models of the classic body type, Nimoy's latest project, Maximum Beauty, focuses on nudes of a wider scope. Women from a burlesque troupe called the Fat Bottom Review. I'm fascinated by... Um the questions that these photographs raise for people, and, and they raise for me, it has to do with what our culture is all about in terms of, um, in terms of body size, body type. Beauty is, is culture-driven. In our culture, we, we have been told that a certain kind of body is beautiful. While images of supermodels have long represented our culture's ideal body type, Nimoy's photographs attempt to widen the standards of beauty by showing these larger size subjects in the same poses as those used in classic nude works by legendary photographers Herb Ritz and Helmut Newton. I started with, with these two images. Uh, these two are by Helmut Newton. He did this, uh, this composition with four uh, very well-known, of his very well-known statuesque models, um, dressed and nude. And I, I, I sent, these, sent his images to these women and said, I want to replicate this with you. So when I arrived, they were ready to do this for me. This one is, um, a comment on, a, on an image done by a photographer named Herb Ritt, who did this same grouping with a, uh, with a group of uh, very well-known models in just exactly the same composition. So I sent again this, his photograph to these women, and I said I also want to replicate that and make a comment on it with his, his just entirely different body type. It just seemed to me that, that those images, that the Helmut Newton and the Herb Ritt, were typical of what's being shown using that kind of model in the fashion world as what is appropriate and, and considered beautiful in our culture. And I thought, oh, there's something beautiful for me and these women. comfortable in their bodies I think which flies in the face of what we're made to believe as women that we have to be so slender otherwise we're we're not attractive and these women with all their imperfections have found a sense of comfort in their own bodies and with each other I think the statement is is that anyone can be beautiful and you know art is definitely in the eye of the beholder but uh, I thought it was beautiful and I commend those women for doing it I certainly could not do that but <laughs> I give them a lot of credit for doing so people ask me if I'm attracted to larger body types I'm I'm I'm, I'm attracted to, to an individual I'm not attracted to a body type uh, these, these people these are these are very real human beings for me Ha, 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 ha.